Hello, this is Rick, and thanks for joining. This is the ninth X, uh, sorry, the ninth PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And today I'm just going to uh, actually to be pretty brief. I want to show you how to do uh, slideshow uh, rehearse timings, and I'll show you how to do a narration also. So if you're sitting on the home screen here and you're, and you're at your title slide and you want to rehearse your rehearse and time your your presentation what you can do is go to the slideshow uh, menu and then go under rehearse timings and then when you go under rehearse timings what will happen is uh, and sorry this went off the screen a little bit here but you'll notice up here in the top left this is the time on the slide and this is the total elapsed time so as I hit the space bar and I go to the next slide you'll notice my total elapsed time continues to tick and my slide is now on going on about 10 seconds so I'm gonna to go to the third one and then I'm gonna to go to the last one here and then what I say is I if I want to save it I say yes now what I can do there is when I go into slideshow I can leave that I can check this box here use rehearse timings and then I can go into slideshow whoop let me make it so it's uh, not going off the screen here so I changed my show type to browse by an individual and then if I go here to slideshow and now run the slideshow you'll see what will happen it will move through those slides automatically for you so um, we'll let that happen here in a second and now you can see it'll go through I think this one we ran for about 10 seconds so typically if you're talking to an audience you're not going to want to rehearse, you're not going to want to have the slides forward automatically because you'll have questions and answers from the audience and so forth. So what's nice about this though is you can use it in a couple different scenarios. You can use it uh, you know if you're running a continual loop at a, at a trade show where you have a narrated recording of it and it's just there for information you could use it for that but what's probably a little bit more helpful is you've created a PowerPoint and now you want to present it uh, but you you don't really have a good grasp of how long it's going to take to get through the material that rehearsed timings will be able to tell you how much time roughly you think you need to spend on each slide and how long the total elapsed time will be and then of course you'll have to adjust that for you know um, participation from your audience so the last thing that I wanted to share with you is there's an option here for record of narration so you could do this on one slide for example you could highlight the slide here you could click record narration you have to have a um, you know a microphone and, and audio and so forth and click OK and then it will record for you when you're done you click escape and then if you want to you can say it'll the narrations have been saved with each slide and then you can say save and then that narration is associated with the first um, slide here so if you had a if you had someone uh, maybe the CEO of the company or something wanted to say something about one of the topics you could insert a narration into into one of your slides or again if you're doing a trade show you could narrate the whole thing and have it run as a continuous loop uh, you can save these narrations separately from the PowerPoint but the way we just did it, it just saved it internally. The other thing that you can do is record the whole thing and instead of hitting escape, just go through the whole presentation, narrate it, and then save it and it can run automatically with your um, uh, you know with your narration. So and then you'll notice the last thing is this uh, little star here. Uh, it, it, this is the one with the narration this one's for on for five seconds this one for 11 seconds and this one for five seconds so if you, you can um, you can edit those uh, you can edit those times also um, but anyways uh, and that's under animations so we'll talk a little bit more about that later when we talk about animations and how to edit different things so that's all I want to share with you for today thanks for joining and please subscribe and certainly if you have a topic you'd like to see covered, uh, drop me a comment or send me an email. Thanks.